Well, I feel like we are in trouble here because this is the worst map. Nurse? There's somebody around me too. Thought I heard footsteps. This is one where you have to do prediction blinks. Jan already done. All these objects make it really hard to blink through things. Got lucky with that one. Without use because I didn't have a second blink. Jens, man, Jens just fly. If it's a team that's um like gen focused, the gens get done in no time. That's why you have to tunnel. Like right now, I shouldn't be going that far from the hook, but they're just doing gens. They'll let her sit here on this hook and they'll save her right before she goes to set stage two. So they get all this time and like, what can I do here? Oh, there's someone. Now I can go back to her hook. Because someone's going to be coming for an unhook. The fang got injured on the way, so someone else has to come. And I need to force stage 2 hook here. Still might not even matter, because they'll get important gens. Here. Yep, see? Told you she'd rescue her right before stage two. That's what they do. So they get all that time for gen progress. So it's, look, I'm, I'm getting my second hook now, and by this time, by this time, they're, like, almost on the last gen. Oh, man, I can't even get to the hook. Now, what do I do? I mean, I'm here and nothing. There's a three gen right here. This is what I need to keep. Nothing here. Basically, I just need to hold this 3-gen right here. But if I go down that way, I lose the 3-gen. I basically have to hold this area. Who did I first hook? The Nancy? I don't even remember, man. Oh, there it is, down the last gen. The only thing going for me right now is I have a three gen. I literally have two hooks. And even that's not gonna matter when they're all pushing on it with four survivors. They're all healed too. Being very stealthy. She goes right back. This map is a nightmare for nurse.
I have all this line of sight blockers. That's the worst thing for a nurse, is not having line of sight. And with this, that's what I don't have. And now they run far, far, far away. Or not. That works, I'll take it. Right here in my face on this gym. This girl is on a purse hook. That should have been a grab. Oh my goodness, no! They all have freaking endurance now. Oh no! They just flipped the whole game around with the stupid uh, buckle up for the people. See, as long as there's four of them alive, it's a real struggle. This is a bad hook to put her on. The three of them are cranking out a gen, or they're healing up. Should have been cranking out a gen, all three of them. out here in killer land.
That's first hook. Let her hang. Touch this one. There's four still alive, and that's the problem. Or live is a problem. You eventually lose because you can't cover all four of them. Alright, this one needs to die. I'm pretty sure she's dead. She's not dead yet, my goodness. That. I knew you would do that. And they just won't die. I did it. and you lose. That's why people tunnel. I saw that coming, but it was too late. I messed up my first blink. Mixing up their scratch marks. Oh, they're out. That's it. Probably all on death hook too. But that right there is why killers tunnel, if you ever want to know. Because it didn't matter how many times I downed them or hooked them, all four of them still got out because there were four of them. I 
it's not necessarily that the survivors are better. The game is tilted in survivors' uh, favor. Let me just explain to you real quick. You see this one at the bottom? It says the nurse, right? It's one player. It's one mind, one brain. It's got four perks on it. It's got a, one offering, a, a power with two add-ons, right? But if you look over here, you have a fang a nancy a lori and another fang that is four players so it's already one versus four and it is it is four minds together working together against one person one person who can be in one place at one time no possible way they could be guarding five gens at the same time meanwhile you got four people that could be at four different places at the same time you have so you had four perks here. Let's see how many perks you have on the survivor side. Four, eight, 12, 16. 16 perks against four. Four offerings against one. One power against potentially four items. This one didn't bring one. Along with two add-ons per each one. Okay, they got made for this. Hope. Adrenaline. Distortion. For the people buckle up that was that was the only one that was like this is a, a crack like this is a broken perk combo right here what this does is that if somebody picks somebody up with for the people along with buckle up both of them them get endurance that's what they did over there when they got that pickup and i didn't matter which one i hit they both had endurance so i couldn't get a down out of anybody with that this is broken this should not be i don't think this should be possible to pair up like this people are just abusing it so basically you got four people four brains going up against one who can only be in one place at one time so this one person is supposed to literally get three hooks on each one of those players that's three six nine twelve hooks if you were going to talk about not camping or tunneling, right? They have to get three, six, nine, twelve hooks. That means they have to down each person two, four. Well, they have to down each person three times, which means which equals two hits to get somebody down. Generally speaking, not even if they have all this endurance, which would be more hits. So let's say two, four, six, you would have to down each person six times. So that's six, 12, 18, uh, 24. You would have to get 24 downs in the amount of time that they can do five generators. It's a, a very heavily survivor sided game at the highest level. There are some killers that could not even get downs nearly as fast as nurse because they would require like set up like a trapper <coughs> or just your ge general like M1 killer would not be able to get downs even nearly as fast as a nurse. So, I mean, if that doesn't make sense. At low MMR, yeah, it's killer sided. So with basic teamwork, it's easy to win. No, no bros not complaining, bros explaining. There's a difference between complaining and explaining. How many Swifts do you play? At my MMR, probably a decent amount. Which on the other hand, is difficult character. You have to hit like every blink. Yeah, if, well, if you miss, it's very punishing. So there means when survivors use perks. I'm using perks too. I don't complain when anyone uses perks. I'm just explaining that at the highest MMR, the game is very survivor sided. It feels killer sided if you're at a lower MMR or your solo queue. So there's a whole difference between playing solo by yourself and not communicating <coughs> and uh, playing against strong teams 
besides that right there was the hardest map for nurse all you got to do is break line of sight i mean did you not see the pressure i had on them with all the downs and hooks and it just wasn't enough and not to even get the, the only way that that would have worked is to literally kill someone and then it becomes a 3v1 look at any comp game and what do you see them do they literally tunnel they tunnel after someone hello brian and i don't like to tunnel so i try not to and it just backfires against me <laughs> 